So hi everybody, this is another declutter and I'm decluttering my foundations as you can see. So to start off with I'm going to put them all on my side. I don't want to keep it at this angle because it's going to be really awkward. So if you're new to this channel and you enjoy declutters, I have got a declutter playlist. I will, if I remember I'll link it up above. So I'm just going to basically take everything out and we'll start from there so that's that one and then I've got another one here These are products that I haven't really tested, so or I know I like, so they also go across to here as well, guys. Okay, so that that's my two makeup the uh, foundation drawers. So, guys, I'm just going to start off with what was in my top drawer because they're the ones that I have used and what I know I like I think there's going to be more that I like than there isn't so I'm just using a big like basket and putting it over this side and I don't know what I'm going to use for I'll just put them over here say so so starting off, I know for a fact that I'm never going to use this BB Cream Daily All-in-One Blemish Balm. Um, I bought this about a year ago and it's just, it's, it's not nice, it's not a nice one at all. So definitely getting rid of that. This is the, the Body Shop Tea Tree for Aurus BB. I've used this in a in my mixing foundation but I technically haven't given this a go so I would like to at least give this summer and give it a go. Another one I can definitely tell you because I've only just got this one I'm definitely keeping this. This uh, lasting extra lasting finish from uh, Avon is going it is so old um, but it's it's too old to pass on to somebody else so it's going in the bin so I'll put them behind me same as with this L'Oreal Paris Nude Magique Blur Cream this is a good three years old and I know people are going to say don't go off what it says but it has turned funky and it's it, it's like not how it was um, actually I have got another one it might be this one then because I can't can't remember so oh they both look the same instant flawless perfection but when I tried them um, I know what it was it was because I was too dark so actually I'm going to keep this one this one and get rid of this one so that can go in there but I'm going to throw this one uh, because I know it's over the 12 months and I wouldn't want to pass it on to anybody else. Before even going away, I'm not getting rid of any of these. These are all like minis. There's the Clinique. There's the Bare Minerals. Um, I'm not over keen on the this one. So I'm going to get rid of that one. And this is the YSL. And I haven't tried it. But I haven't tried this one from the Bare Skin. I'll give the little one a go but this one hasn't actually got the other one hasn't got a name on it and fat bare minerals more got more than one foundation so I'm keeping my minis I'm keeping my Kevin Aquan one I'm actually keeping everything that's still in their boxes so 
I'm just going to get everything out of the way. I The Ordinary uh, Charlotte Tilbury's Magics, they're so nice and so good. Um, my Hourglass, I'm keeping. Right, so this is another L'Oreal BB Cream. Maybe it was this one that was funky. You see, even that's nice. Oh, I think that's why, because it went to a too dark. And I actually... Yeah, because I got this from the Duty Free shop. So this is the actual one that I bought last year when I was on holiday. So that one will actually suit me when I come back this year. So I'm actually going to keep that for when I come back and then chuck it probably in the next one. This number seven intelligent colour foundation. You guys are going to laugh. This is how dark I used to go on a foundation. Yeah. This one's been in it is really, really old. Um, same as with this extra lasting liquid foundation. It's really old. It needs to be binned. If it wasn't so old, it would be passed on, but it is so old. This from the Maybelline Dream Flawless Nude. I don't like this personally. Um, so I'm just going to give it away. Um, the Fenty Beauty. A, I got it in the wrong colour. I got it in 180 which did seem my colour, probably suit me when I've been on holiday. Uh, B, it is so drying on me, so I'm trying to find a combination to mix in with it, but I am still keeping it. So this Fit Me Maybelline is in 220, again it's too dark for me, it's never been opened. I've stuck between a rock and a hard place because this might actually be a nice one when I come back off holiday. Now, I know it's not going to fit, so somebody else can have it. Just <laughs> go away. I've actually got two of these somewhere. Yeah, there's one. So, so I'm actually going to give the one that's unopened away, which is this one, and keep this one. This Rimmel Instant Age Rewind Erase. This is too pink foundation for me, so that can go to somebody else. Um, the Milani Conceal 2-in-1. It's really nice, creamy vanilla. A little bit too dark, but I can make it work, so I do like that. Favourite of all time from the drugstore is this. So I'm not getting rid of that. Uh, I've only really used this once and it's the Rimmel Wake Me Up so and it's in Ivy so I am actually going to give this another shot I am going to get rid of the Revolution Pro full coverage camouflage foundation it was disgusting wouldn't recommend this to anybody but obviously this is where everybody's skin's different so I can put it in the sort of pile this is where's the elf this is the elf tinted moisturizer and it has got a color to it but I didn't like the elf foundation when I first brought it but then when I used it with this underneath and this on top it was a really nice match so I will do because obviously tutorials and things like that um, I'm going to get rid of this is brand new never been used um, the makeup gallery from gorgeous flawless so that can go I'm keeping the L'Oreal true match I love this foundation as well it's really really nice Shade 1 of Miss Beauty and Shade 3 of Miss Beauty. I'm getting rid of both of them. Nothing wrong with them. I found them to be, for the price that you pay, which was a pound each, they were fine as a foundation. But I just know I'm never going to pick them back up. 
um, this Kiko 3D Lifting Foundation. I know I've got a backup of this. So, but I've only used it once or twice, so really, I need to. So, yeah, I've got 08 and 05. So, so that's that colour. Just put that over there. Let's see what the 08 is. I do like this foundation, though. I really do. See, look at the difference. I'm definitely more of the 05, so I'm going to definitely be getting rid of the dark one and keeping the lighter one. I would do a project pan and in it I've already got my essential number 7 in it and I've got a backup. I'm still keeping it because I still like it, so I'm keeping the backup and still keeping that one. I'm getting rid of this smash bottles one. I'm just going to give it away. These two are new foundations. These are extremely old, so I'm getting rid of both of them, as in bin. So, I'm torn over these, the wet and wild. Um, I think for now, I am going to keep them because I would like to. Everybody raves about it, and this is the thing that gets me each time is. Everybody raves about them, but I need to find the combination that goes with it that will make it work for me. And because I've only ever tried them once, I want to at least try them one more time with something else. If it don't work out, then I suppose I can declutter them. So I'm going to keep them for now. Uh, the Makeup Revolution Foundation in F2. This is really nice, um, really nice col colouring for me because I'm yellow and I'm keeping it. I've got a new Beauty Pie Micro Mineral Serum Foundation. I'm sure there's another one of them somewhere. So I've got two of them and both ivory. I've not tried them yet because one packet's actually got a try on it so I haven't even tested this out so oh yeah good match for me so very very light coverage so I don't think I need two of the same coverage so I'm going to actually get rid of the new one I'm definitely getting rid of this uh, L'Oreal Lumiere Magique because it's way too dark and way too thingy. So I'm just going to try this Dermacol. Every time I go to try it, somebody else puts a video out about it and then I feel like I'm just sort of copying, but I, am, I want to give it a go. So I'm keeping that. Um... These two beautiful matte foundation and stay perfect for number seven. I am keeping both of them because they're in my colour and my daughter's colour. So if she runs out, she comes in next mine. So skin illumination in nude. Oh, this is one of them um, thingy creams. So no, I don't need to put that in there. But I'm definitely keeping it anyway. Uh, so this K Kiko BB cream. That's very light. So I don't think I'd ever use it. And I don't think I've used it. I think that's brand new. So I'm going to get rid of that. This blend of porcelain. Camera clear tinted foundation. I've never worn it, but it's supposed to be porcelain. I'd like to give this one a go. I haven't tried this room on map from L'Oreal. It's not even open, so that's staying. Um, this is staying, but I have actually got two of these. So I don't need two, both in ivy, so one can go. 
this is the revolution the matte effect natural foundation um that will probably be in a video at some point i have got the beer, beautiful beer foundation serum um so that's another one that i need to give a go i haven't tried the rimmel match perfection and i haven't tried the body shop one so things i haven't tried i don't generally want to get rid of um because i like to do like new foundation wear tests and things same as with this although freedom's not about it is now freedom revolution so i'm still keeping that i'm still gonna do a go on it um i've got another this one is the serum foundation from the um ordinary and i haven't given this a go either <laughs> the max studio <gasps> no threw it all over you don't want to do that that's nice i would like to give that a go so i'm still keeping that this is color correction foundation makeup professional i've not tried it and it's in the colour ivory it's unopened so i'll probably put this in a video i want to give that a go so i've got three shades of the nars and there is siberia gobby and mont blanc and i again i haven't tried these these have been sat in a drawer for so long I just want to see which one is the best shade for me so as you can see i would actually say that this one is my color so i'm just pulling it down my neck now to see yeah because this this one's got a pink undertone this one's got a pink undertone yellow and that's way too dark so i'm getting rid of that one because it's too dark and I'm keeping the light no that's a bit I don't know so I'm going to get rid of that one and keep that one as well then I've got this shimmering petite BB cream that hasn't been opened and I am going to keep so this is the cover click cover stick foundation yeah it's nice it's, it's not something that I'd brag home about but i do like it so and that's the click system that goes with it so i'm going to keep them the avon bright star fresh look foundation oh i have tested it so it must be perfect for me otherwise i would have sent that back so i'm going to keep that um i'll talk about that one in a minute the collection one foundation i think i've got enough drugstore foundations that i don't really need to do this one so i can get rid of this i'm keeping in my lightning and darkening drops from the body shop these are these are one of the nicest ones that are out there so i'm keeping both of them this is the an elf bb cream obviously you can tell it's not been open so the it cosmetics i haven't tried it still um do you want some mirrors guys the avon bb cream color correction cream medium beige let's see what this looks like Oh, it's got an SPS 50 as well, so. Oh no, that'd be way too dark for me. So, do you know what? It actually isn't. It's quite a nice colour match. So, and it's slightly more. So I might just keep that. See, I haven't even used this and I know I haven't. So 
no uh, this has got a very pink undertone to it so that can go guys so again this has got quite pinky undertone to it um so i'm going to get rid of that as well i do like the you know yeah i'm just going to keep both of them because i do like them and i need want to try this tart one so it needs to come out really so that i can try it um so yeah hi guys so i got rid of six to be thrown away 21 to be donated to give to friends and family and that sort of thing um so 28 products already had to my collection so i think i did well i kept more than i thought i would but just one of them things so yeah so if you enjoyed this video give us a cheeky thumbs up and i'll see you guys in my next one bye